By now, Figma has become the industry standard when it comes to mock-up, prototype, designing assets for websites and all the good stuff. So I am designing assets for websites in Figma, of course, besides mockups and everything else. So I discovered a few plugins that make my life much easier when it comes to that. All right, let's see what we have. So the first plugin that we are going to be talking about is called Oblique. So what Oblique does is turn any text into a 3D text, which I think is pretty cool and could look really amazing on websites. So let's turn this text into a vector based text. To do that, hit Command E on Mac because this will allow us to resize the text whenever we want and also edit the text. Right click on the text now, go to plugin and hit oblique and let's set the projection angle to 350 and this is the projection distance to 50 and we want this and this color let's make it pop select group projection oh yeah okay let's group this group selection and now ooh, fancy how cool is this i think it's really cool next one is it's okay it's called make blob so let's go to plugin and look for make blob and add either add blob ui which can customize a blob with the shape that you want you can also add a random blob bulk which is many like this you can change the colors you can change the stroke you can basically do whatever you want to them facts drop shadow inner shadow nothing too exciting but sometimes we use this in projects they were very popular last year or the beginning of this year now not so much but i think you can still find them useful in my opinion then the next one is pretty interesting i found it to be very interesting and it's called morph open morph and we need to select an object let's play with the blobs that we have here let's choose this one so let's do a gradient and you can choose either to do it analog complementary Ooh, this is fancy shuffle very cool right and i mean how cool is that let's do another one let's try doing a neon you can also change the intensity here let me back it up a little bit so you can see have a bit of perspective you can remove the background so right now there is a background as you can see you can remove the background which is pretty cool because you can use it on a, on any website like, like this so you can change the color these are the colors unfortunately you cannot choose your own color but i think this could be also useful you can change the intensity and also have a background this also could be useful very very nice let's try another one with morph and then we move on to the next one glassy glassy is really nice I like glassy. This is so, so cool. I like anything glassy. Let's bring it up a little bit. Blurriness, opacity. Let's bring up the opacity. No, blurriness. Ooh. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> I'm enjoying this, really. cool i mean i i really can see this being used on like when you're building nft projects or nft websites i don't know it's pretty pretty cool all right let's move on you can experiment yourself with it so the next one is freak fd uh, i converted this yesterday from a plain flat icon into this okay i can <laughs> i think i can do more with it i can play more around it to make it better looking more perfect i guess we need to, to select something of the canva let's see if we do this one convert selection to 3d Ooh, could be interesting what i don't like about this is if, if the image is too big when you come you insert it in figma it will cut the sides that are not showing basically in this square so keep that in mind let's try it again let's take this down and resize it to a smaller size all right yeah so you do need to resize the image before you convert it to 
thick 3D. So let's insert it in Figma and let's see what we managed to make. Ooh, this is interesting. I honestly don't know what you would use this for, but actually it looks cool. I mean, you can play around with it and figure it out. Keep it in your design tool in case someday you need it. I kind of dig it. Let's move on to noise. I think we've all noticed lately that there is a lot of noise used in design and oh, it's so beautiful. Let me just ungroup this and let me show you. This is noise on top. This is the layer. Look at that without and with i mean it's nevertheless it's beautiful with and without but with it adds that little bit of a je ne sais quoi it's like it's a cherry on, on top of the cake right it's so beautiful and you can also create these backgrounds with noise which are also very very popular so you can just switch it up here density we don't want it that dense right or we do i think we kind of do contrast I think it's fine. Ooh, noise. We've created noise. Okay, because it's a little bit intense, we can bring it down to maybe 2% and you don't see it, but it's there. Let me let me zoom in. As you can see, there's a layer there. Let's bring it back to 10. So you can play around with it, do your thing. You can also blur it out, which is also pretty cool. And let's bring it down a little bit. It makes it a little bit more intense, I guess. But to be honest, I'm not a fan of this. Let's see if I can reduce this to 5. Hmm. Not bad. 10. This is very nice, but I don't want to drop shadow, background blur. There are so many ways you can play with this that absolutely insanely crazy. Would have thought how beautiful this is. Can do so much. If you are into designing with noise, then this is for you. If you'd like to see what I build with the designs that I make in Figma, then watch this playlist here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please like, subscribe, and thank you very much. I'll see you next time.